Hey guys, political video for you tonight, and this one is an open email to the 45th President of the United States of America. Well, why an email? We know that you're a letter-writing fool, fake Sagan. Yeah, that's true, but the White House website specifies that emails are preferred over snail mail, and that only makes sense because this is the Twitter president. Well, I had to choose my words carefully, and I ran right up to the 2,500 character limit. Here we go. President Donald J. Trump, as the media continues to mislead the American people about your presidency and Gallup indicates an eight-point decline in your approval rating after your first week in office, as your family are denigrated by critics of your presidency and celebrities such as Madonna threaten your assassination, it occurs to me that if your critics are the loudest voice, your supporters such as myself must speak up and make ourselves heard. That's why I'm writing this email to show my support for you and your administration and to voice my approval of the job you've done thus far. I'm a registered independent and haven't voted in the past several presidential election cycles because I felt that none of the candidates represented my interests. The vote I cast for you was the first I had cast in a U.S. presidential election in a very long time. I do not regret casting that vote. And now that you are my president, I feel, for the first time and as long as I can remember, that there is hope for a better future for America. For the first time, I feel hopeful that international cooperation with foreign powers can be achieved and great wars can be avoided. I feel hopeful that global terrorism can be mitigated and, through wise foreign policy, be prevented from proliferating further. I feel hopeful that the U.S. economy can be strengthened not through unfair global trade policies which benefit only the transnational corporate elite, but through the ingenuity, determination, and sweat of the American worker who has been too long cast aside. I feel hopeful that the divisive, media-inculcated rifts between Americans of differing race, gender, and creed can be repaired rather than deepening ever further. You've given me reason to hope. I ask only one thing of you. Do not capitulate to public pressure from a brainwashed populace who have been betrayed by our news media. Do not be swayed by the entrenched influence of establishment politicians in the House and Senate who have betrayed the will of their constituents and sold their souls to special interests and lobby groups long ago. Continue to fight for me and for the other Americans who believed in you and voted you into our nation's highest office. Be the voice for change in Washington that we knew you could be, rather than letting Washington change you. Hold steadfast to the same determination you showed on the campaign trail and make America great again. That's all the news that's fit to print. Keep it fake.